Hi guys. So a uh, few last minute changes um, that I wanted to add to the cycle. I am at work, hence the red sweater. You guys know if you see me in a red sweater, it's because I'm working. My colors for work are like red, white, black, and yellow. And around the Christmassy season, Valentine's season, I bust out my red sweater because it's still, I'm still like feeling the holiday spirit. <laughs> So it's not that I'm wearing the same red sweater, it's because I am chilling at work, hence the background, and I'm wearing my sweater. So, quick last minute changes. Um, I have decided to reincorporate a few supplements that I use when I conceive William. One was Dim. I got the Supreme one because my local store um, had this and I paid twice as much for it as I would have on Amazon. Um, but it's still a small business and I try to support locally first. So if you're buying your supplements and you can afford to splurge a little bit, um, try to support your local community, your local herbal store or your local store and I'm not necessarily talking about Walmarts I'm talking about smaller businesses like that to keep your community going so I end up paying twice as much for this um, and I don't feel bad about it because I'm keeping the business going um, or I'm helping contribute to that I am also doing oh did I tell you how many days so I'm doing four of these a day in addition to my other supplements guys I'm not going to do a list every time I do a new video because hopefully you're keeping track with me on what I'm adding into my new supplement regimen. So I don't have to go through. Doo -doo. And plus, I can't remember off the top of my head because I'm taking like a crazy amount of stuff. But Sanika pointed out, thank you, Sanika, that the reason why I could have seen a positive pregnancy test on cycle day 11 and end up and end up kind of phasing out um a day later two days later and I end up getting my cycle early was because I might be estrogen dominant which can happen when you get to be my age which is very close to 40 a few months and I'll be 40 years old um, so there are ways to naturally increase your progesterone one would be uh, dim uh, vitex helps regulate it uh, DHEA, which I'm pretty sure all of us are familiar with, can increase it. Um, s limiting your stress can increase your progesterone naturally. So there are supplements and ways you can do that naturally. Um, there's also progesterone cream you can get online at your local store or you can get through your doctor. So there are ways that we can do it naturally and that's what I'm gonna do naturally. Although, like I said, I do have a plan B which will be, uh oh, I think I'm going to have a guess. One sec, guys. Nope, my mistake, false alarm. Um, so there are things that you can do to increase your progesterone naturally, and that's what I'm going to do naturally. Um, but like I did say, we, we do have a plan. Um, if we don't get pregnant by our birthday, by my birthday, then we're going to go and get my levels rechecked, fertility doctor, all that great stuff. So I'm doing the dim, and I am also doing amazing grass it's a super green powder shake that you can do twice a day or three times a day however many days you want to do it i got amazing grass last time when i conceived william i noticed in my other video i was doing green vibrance which is another great brand um which one is better i guess it depends on how much you want to spend green vibrance is pricier like by about twenty dollars pricier um I could have gotten that one, but my local store had this one on sale. So I'm doing the, the the amazing grass and I got the packets to keep it work, but I also have the container. The one that I keep at work is chocolate and it blends good with almond milk or regular milk. I don't like cow's milk, but um, it blends really good with almond milk. So I got that, that was cool. So I started those and I'm on day three of doing the shakes and I feel really good. I feel, not that I have like a super amount of energy, but I kind of feel healthier and it could even be that um, 
mind over matter thing where I know that I'm putting good stuff in my body so I'm naturally using my endorphins to be happier about that whatever the case is I feel really good um yeah but I was I did have a huge headache earlier today huge massive massive headache um which happens is you know it can happen when you start to all of a sudden start putting um all these super healthy things in your diet at once and i i try my best to eat happy but you know i like my i like my processed food too <laughs> i like my kfc and in my community where i am at which is a, a blended suburban mix of people they just opened up a local popeyes so you know your girl supports local businesses so yeah i was there today and it was worth it it just opened up next to a coals out here and i was like oh so worth it it was worth the line it was worth the wait <laughs> it was worth the horrible congestion on trying to get in there and trying to get out yeah it was worth it so um i did take a opk and I've been taking them every six hours to see the progression. There are ways you can check without using OPKs. Simply Tamika, I will link her video on how to fern. There's a way to check with ferning, which is basically using your spit to see um, if you are closer to ovulation or if you are about to ovulate, you can use OPKs. You can check your cervical mucus, um, cervical position, you can tempt. Um, but I just use the OPKs and check my cervical mucus because that's just easier for me. So I did anticipate on ovulating on Wednesday. So we were able to get the due in today, which was great. FOB came over, father of baby, in case you want to know what that stands for. FOB, father of baby. Um, you can call my old man, you can call my man, whatever. I just use FOB as a general term because um, it's just easier. I don't like saying oh he's my boyfriend because I feel like that sounds so like high school and I'm in my 40s now entering my 40s like oh he's my boyfriend like I'm in high school like I'm 16 or something like that's father of baby FOB it's just easier for me so anyways he came over today and he was looking really good and it's not too many times where I have to tell him that he looks good because sometimes I look at him and he's just He's got this clean shaven Bible salesman look and I'm just like kind of turned off with his appearance. But something has been different about him and he came over and he was looking good. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, you look really good. And he was just got out of working in the sewer because he's a plumber. So he came over really dirty and kind of smelly so where I had to tell him to take his work clothes off at the door and I always have spare clothes in the closet for him to put on and I'm like what were you doing he's like oh I was working in the sewer today I'm like why were you working in the sewer he's like a sewer line busted and you know because I was sending him texts like oh you stood me up again kind of like being really bratty about it being a spoiled little brat like oh you stood me up again I knew you were going to do that whatever but he's like, no, no, I'm coming. So he explained himself, which was nice. And he has been taking supplements himself. And he's been um, doing diet changes himself without me even asking. So I was really impressed with that because I didn't really think he cared. Now, I know he cares about me and he wants what's best for me. But I didn't realize that it was directly affecting him, me not getting pregnant. And it has been. And I feel bad about that now that I haven't even inquired on how are you feeling, what's going on, because we, we really don't have that emotional connection. Um, we're kind of like here, where I exist, you exist, and we kind of exist in the same atmosphere together, but we don't have that um, bond. But um, yeah, he did tell me that, and that was nice, so I was taken aback and impressed with that. and. His stamina was great, and our rendezvous was really good. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say, keeping it PG-13. I was so impressed that your girl went on Amazon and ordered three, uh, ordered him three more bottles of that supplement that he's been doing, because I'm like, yeah, we got to keep this up. 
Oh my gosh. So I just wanted to share that feel good story for me. Um, I wanted to share that with you guys. And I also wanted to tell you guys to stay positive. I know that's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard for women that don't have any kids that are working, suffering from primary infertility. And I know that's hard for secondary infertility. So women that we have children, but it's like we can't get pregnant again for some reason. So I know it's hard. I've been there. I understand it. But go into every cycle like I do, which is this is the month. This is February. It will be actually February, January. So I, January is my month. I'm going to get pregnant in January. Um, and I've been just keeping that attitude. I'm going to get pregnant. It's just what month is it going to be? It's going to be January, February. It's going to be March. It's going to be April. Is it going to be December? I mean, what month is it going to be? And that's how I go into every single cycle. I'm going to get pregnant. I'm always making a plan ahead of time. So stay positive that your FOB, father, baby, boyfriend, husband, um, partner is going to be in town, not deployed if he is working for the service or that your specimen, if you're using a frozen specimen that your specimen will be delivered to you on time <laughs> and it won't be a snowstorm and you're going to catch your eggy and that is going to be it and this is going to be your month go into every cycle with a i'm going to get pregnant this is my cycle february is my month this is going to be the month that we do it and everything is going to align itself and i'm going to get the positive test do that every single month that's what I have to do to myself every single month and I feel really good about this month <laughs> like I did last month in the month in the month before the month before but I feel really good like this is going to be the month I think that I've nailed everything so I'm hoping that it's this month for me and I'm hoping that it's this month for all you guys so stay positive um, find positive people positive books positive things to do positive whatever you can draw your energy from and make you happier put that in your life <laughs> right now after you're done watching this video find a scented candle that smells nice and put that in your house whatever energy works use that and draw from that and just stay positive i want every that was the main reason on why i wanted to share this video because i feel good this month and i wanted to share that um with you guys all right, so that is my video. I really have to get back to my little cubicle, but I'm kind of like away from my cubicle in the corner. <laughs> so no one hears my conversation. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my update. Bye.